Hi Kirby fans, so today what we're going to be doing is a bit of shampooing with a Legend 2. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Kiss big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Now don't forget everything I use in this video, there will be links in the description below, so make sure you check those out for the best place for your Kirby products. Right, so first up, I'd like to thank everybody. We've hit that 15 inch subscriber mark. I will be announcing in a separate video what that Kirby giveaway will be, and we will be starting those questions at 2,000 subscribers. So again, if you're not subscribed and you want to enter that competition, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can comment down below and be with the chance to win what I'm giving away. Right, so in today's video, what we're going to be doing is using the shampoo system on the Legend 2. I haven't used this before, it's been quite a few years, but I'm just going to purely show you that you can use the shampoo system to clean your suite as well as the Avalier. Uh, we're going to be backing off with the Avalier 1 first, and then we'll be going to be shampooing it, and I'm going to show you what I use to protect my suite after I've shampooed it with the Kirby shampoo system. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Right, so it doesn't seem like five minutes since I shampooed this city, but it was way back in February. Again, you might be asking yourself, why are you using Legend 2? What I want to do is show people you've got a Legend 2, and you can shampoo with the Legend 2 and get the same result as the Avalia or the Generation Series. It's exactly the same shampoo system. As well as that, I like the little strap so you can hang, hang the Kirby on your shoulder, which I think is quite cool, and I think Kirby should bring it back in the next gen Generation Series. I thought it was a handy, attachment for that and the fact that if you're doing stairs with it you can hang it on your shoulder as well right so what we're going to do is we're literally going to get this cleaned it's going to be a bit of a time lapse and it will be sped up and obviously i'm going to i'm not going to make it sit through the hole of me vacuuming and cleaning so what we're going to do is clean it with a zip brush so if you want a step-by-step -step guide there will be a video linked in an icon card above so check that out at the end of this video on how to use a zip brush or how to use a shampoo system and how to set it up so what we're going to do is back it off with Avalier 100 and then we're going to jump in and start shampooing it with the Legend 2. So what we'll do is get straight to it. zip brush now. Now if you use the same Kirby, which I won't be, again when you put it on the blow side make sure you blow it outside first purely because you're going to have a bit of dust in that hose that will literally blow out the system and you don't want that coming through your shampoo system. That's the only thing I recommend. Now if you want a step by step tutorial again I'll say there will be an iCard at the end of this video so make sure you check that out on how to use a zip brush and how to shampoo and set up your shampoo system. So what we're going to do now is start shampooing it with the Legend 2. So you're going to need your Kirby, you're going to need your shampoo and you're going to need either a wet cloth or a scrubbing brush and you're literally going to pat that foam in and you'll see that in the video again it will be a bit of a time lapse so enjoy so what we'll do let's get straight to it
see, it's a simple process and you literally just rub it in with a rag or a scrubbing brush. It's entirely up to you. Our suite is like a velour, so I tend to use just a damp cloth and it works really, really well. Like any excess foam, just find where you haven't got any on your settee, your sides and that, and just rub it in. What we'll do now is we'll leave this for about two hours to evaporate. What will happen is the Kirby agent will actually grab that dirt, bring it to the surface, and then it'll be ready to back off with the zip brush. So I'll catch you in a bit. Well, so that's been roughly about half an hour, so you can actually see it's starting to dry off. It's gonna be patchy, where it's drying, so here it's wet, then it's dry. If you're not too sure before you start shampooing, then obviously do a color fast test just on the back of your settee, where it's not gonna be seen to see if it does actually color fast, but I've never actually had that issue with a curvy. And again, you're gonna save a fortune shampooing your own suite as opposed to getting someone in to actually do it. Right, so it's been about two hours now and the suite is totally dry. So what I'll do is I'll quickly zoom in and just show you a bit of an issue that somebody had and they did put it on my uh, channel as well in one of the comments. And I think she commented in the Facebook group as well. Um, I'll just quickly show the issue she had and explain what actually happens. So what we'll do is we'll start. Right, so a lady commented the other day and purely all it was that Kirby had been out, they'd obviously shampooed the suite as a demo and it felt quite hard. Now all that is, is the shampoo's dried, absorbed the dirt and it's just come to the surface and it's just waiting for you to get it off with your upholstery tool or your zip brush. So you can actually hear, I'm not sure if you can pick that up on camera, but you can hear it and I can feel it's hard purely because the shampoo is actually dried. So what we'll do now is we'll jump back to it and we'll start backing this off with zip brush and see how she comes up. So as you can see, our suite's nice and clean now, fully refreshed with the shampoo, actually vacuumed off with a zip brush. Now there's one more step I take, so don't go anywhere, make sure you stay to the end to see how this actually works out. And it's the best thing I ever use to actually protect my suite, especially with Christmas or parties coming up, you don't want people spilling stuff in your suite. Well, I was hoping you've liked that video and I hope you found it really informative. And as you can see, even if you've got a heritage or a legend too, you can still clean your suite as good and as easy as if you've got an Avalia. Now don't forget everything in this video, there will be links in the description below, so make sure you check those out for the best place to get your Kirby products. And also in the next video, I will be sharing that tip on how I protect my suite and how I keep it looking brand spanking new. So make sure you check that video out when it airs. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you get value out of this content and contemplate showing your support, by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut 20 bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. Um, same and get the same. That's purely because you're gonna have a boot.